Good morning, Facebook family and friends, and my faithful lawyer YouTube subscribers. Today is July 5th, 2016, and I'm sitting here, a cup of coffee in hand. I kind of slept in late today, so I'm just really getting my day started. So, um, I did a video about two years ago about Atlanta. And I get a lot of emails all the time. People want to know how do I feel about Atlanta now? Has my, has my mind changed about Atlanta? Has Atlanta um, uh, changed in any way? This is, so the video is about people moving to Atlanta, and um, I'm a little biased towards Atlanta. So I always tell people if you're going to move to Atlanta, that you really need to seriously, first off, before anyone contemplates moving to Atlanta, Georgia, you better have a job of some sort. A job or income or a business that you own. Of some sort of income coming in or be retired. If you're coming to Atlanta thinking that I'm going to go to Atlanta and I'm going to find me a decent paying job, you're going to be in for one hell of a surprise. I know a ton of people who have moved to Atlanta in the past few years and had struggled to find work. I know people who've been here as long as five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years who've had jobs on and off. Uh, I have friends who are unemployed at this very moment who have been struggling to find work. Um, Atlanta's a funny place when it comes to the job market here. They don't pay you a lot of money on these jobs. You might can find a job, but it's going to be a low-paying job. It may not be enough to help pay your rent, which is now skyrocketing all over Atlanta. Rents have gotten very expensive here in the city. Um, so you have a problem here in the city with finding employment, and particularly for African Americans. You got a ton of educated black folks, educated black folks who have moved into Atlanta. Many have graduated from local colleges. I have friends who graduated from Morehouse and Spelman and all kinds of stuff. And they're still struggling to find work because they want to remain here in the Atlanta metropolitan area. Now, my theory on this is I would rather move someplace where there's a job for me versus coming to a city where I have to come and dig up or find a job. Some jobs you just, some places, some places you might just want to. I don't think I would want to move to Atlanta without a job because you just it's, you you're going because it might take you much longer than you anticipate finding one. I know people who have literally been here for a couple of years and they've had all they've had some pretty terrible jobs and, and lost those jobs for whatever reasons and now they're trying to find something else and they're just they're struggling. It's just a lot of struggle here is how I see it. I, I mean I see so many people struggling here that if they move someplace else. They would be better off. I have a friend and his partner, they just moved to uh, Minneapolis. They left Atlanta um, for various reasons, sold his house. He had been here for a while. He just got tired of the rat race. He wanted to go someplace where he can make a decent amount of money. He's in education and not put up with the issues here in Atlanta. Because you know, Atlanta got some serious issues. We have a crime problem. In certain neighborhoods, you will get killed. In a certain black neighborhood now, and it's unfortunate because and you would think that in Atlanta, a progressive city like Atlanta, with so many educated African Americans, black Americans living here, but there's a, there's an element. There's a lot of poverty in the city, and unfortunately, the city is divided. You have whites living on the north side of town, blacks living predominantly on the south side of town. So you have educated blacks and poor blacks mainly living on the south side of town, and you have mainly educated whites on the north side of town. So this is where the problem comes in because if you're an educated black and you go and you want to live in affordable, decent rent, you typically most people will probably go into a black side of town. But then you have to deal with that poverty and crime. And unfortunately, you have a lot of out of control teenagers here who will kill you over a cell phone. So there's a lot of crime. And I, unfortunately, I personally know people who've been robbed and killed here in Atlanta for something as minute as a cell phone. One guy, he was shot and killed out on Old National Highway. Going to, they didn't get anything from him. They just shot him for no reason. No, there was no reason to kill that man. They tried to kill that man for no reason at all. Um, and they have not found the people who 
tried to kill that man, Eddie. This is about maybe one or two years ago. So you got an outrageous crime rate. Now, Atlanta is in the process of building a million apartments. They got all these apartments going all over the place on the north side of town. Nothing on the south side. They got a million apartments being built. All these apartments are being built, and I think that's going to work out negatively towards people who own condos here in the city. You got all these condos being built. They're very expensive. They're tiny. This is one of them. Earl rented this teeny tiny apartment, and it's expensive, and it's tiny. It's a small little something. So, the apartment complex that we live in, it will be a year. Our Earl's moved in here in August or September of last year. I think it was August. So, it will be a year that he has been here, and they still have empty units in this apartment building. So a lot of units have sat here empty for almost oh, a year. Um, they're slowly renting them out. But the problem is there is a million apartments for, for rent in this city, and they're everywhere. Brand new apartments all over the place. They're still building them everywhere. So I'm thinking of all these apartment buildings being built. I'm thinking, well, who are all these people moving to Atlanta are moving, moving up to these high as expensive as apartments? Now, a lot, a lot of people want to rent these expensive apartments. So that is going to be an issue very soon. These apartment complexes are not going to be able to rent these units out and they're going to crash. So when these apartment complexes crash, developers are going to pick them up and most likely turn these places into condominiums. So they're nice enough to be condos. You have beautiful cabinetry, granite countertops, hardwood floors throughout the units. In this building that we're in here, there's no carpet, it's all hardwood floors, granite throughout. Um, they're decently built. There ain't no trim to them, no crown molding or like that. But they, they, but they're small units. I mean, this shit's small. So for example, the two bedroom here, which rents for about twenty two hundred dollars a month. Uh, well, it was at twenty two hundred. I, I heard they had to reduce it to get those units rented out. But the second bedroom, it couldn't even hold a queen size bed. I mean, it was the, you'd have to put a full size bed in there. And if you thought about putting a dresser or something, it, going, it was just. We looked at that two bedroom. I said, "Who? What can you do with the second bedroom? Nothing, but put a desk in there. That's about it. So basically, it's a one bedroom with a den. A nice sized unit, but the bedroom one. The bedroom was just too small. Two bedroom, two bath. They want twenty two hundred dollars a month for that mess. Outrageous. So, but I've looked at a ton of apartment complexes, and these rents are sky high, and the units are very, very, very small, and the buildings are very, very empty. So that should tell you something." That means that these buildings are not going to be as sustained, stay afloat without tenants. It's not possible. We've been here for a year, going on a year, and this place is still, we still empty units here. Okay. So, and this is just, and, you, and they didn't open up a slew of apartment complexes right near here. Um, there's a ton of apartment complexes around here, everywhere. Don't forget, you got older apartment complexes that are renovating too. So you got old apartment complexes who are doing massive renovations to try to attract these people into there. I went to an apartment complex uh, recently, and they gutted everything. I mean, they gutted these units down to put in kitchen cabinets. I'm thinking, okay, they really putting some investment into these units. Um, I've been to several apartment complexes where they're doing a lot of investment, a lot of putting a lot of money into these units. And but I'm looking over here, brand new stuff. Sitting empty. We're going to have a problem here. Now, these lenders, they don't care. Then they gave the loans out to these apartment contractors. They don't care as long as they made their loan, they made their money, and went on about their business. But Atlanta's going to have a very tough problem in a minute, particularly in the Midtown area, with all these apartments that they built. And the only way I can see that, this, that they will get out of this hole is that those units are... Um, the, the apartment buildings are sold for less than what they paid for the, what the developer put into it, which means the bank is going to have to foreclose and take them back, and then they're going to, another developer is going to have to buy them and convert these things into condos. So the way it's going to work. And then these condos are going to be relatively priced, relatively cheap, and it's going to hurt people who are living in condos right now. So get ready for a huge, massive condo so you'll be able to get your nice two-bedroom, two-bath condo and right off Peach Street for maybe $150,000 to $200,000 plus your association fee, which isn't bad because that's the price point they need to be any damn way and that will probably help bring more people into the city 
assuming they have a job. Now back to the job market. Do not move to Atlanta unless you know somebody who can help you get a job. I have met so many people. Walter, do you know anybody can help me get a job? I'm thinking, you moved here without a job. Didn't you watch my videos? Do not move to Atlanta without a job. Don't do it. You're going to struggle. You may not find a job. I know people who have moved here and had to move someplace else because they could not find a job in Atlanta. They could not. They had education. They had degrees. They had all kinds of shit. They could not find work. Don't move here without a job. Please do not make that mistake. I don't care if you got a billion bucks in savings. You don't need a job. You can go retire. Well, it's a city where a lot of people are retiring to move here and they're pushing up the housing market. The housing market is on fire here in Atlanta because a lot of people are retiring from various other cities and moving here and buying these homes so they want to live in Atlanta and retire. I don't know. I'd rather be down in Florida on a beach someplace where I'm going to retire someplace. But you got a lot of people who are moving here. A lot of people find Atlanta to be desirable. And this is another issue in Atlanta. If you have children, do not bring your children here to Atlanta and put them in these public schools here. You will have, they will have a horrible education. Much worse than anything you would have got up north, even on the south side of Chicago. If you think you're going to be moving to a better place, come bringing your children down here to Atlanta and put them in these terrible, 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 terrible public schools. Unless you're on the white side of town paying two thousand to three grand a month in rent, don't do it. But if you can afford to pay two to three thousand dollars a month in rent, and you can put your children into some of these schools like Sarah Smith or some of the high-end schools on the north side of town where all the white folks live in, then you then, then by all means do it. Do not go out there to South Cab, South Fulton County, parts of Clayton County, Douglasville, West Cobb, Gwinnett. Don't do it. Henry County, don't do it. Do not put your children in these schools. They're terrible. If you cannot afford to put your child into a private school, stay away from Atlanta. Go someplace else. These schools are terrible here. Terrible, especially on our side of town where black folks live. This, these schools, these kids are not doing this. Ooh, terrible, 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 terrible. Don't do it. You know, put your, do not expect your children to come here and get some decent education here at, this, at these schools. It ain't going to happen. Unless, again, please hear me out. You go into some of these wealthy white neighborhoods, public schools, you can afford to go into those areas, then, there's, then your kids going to be at a school that's predominantly all white. And has this issue. Atlanta still has, we're racially divided here in the city. Like I said, whites on one side of town, blacks on the other side of town. Prime example, where we live at, right here off Peachtree Street. Um, there are, uh, I would say that this complex is about 80% white, maybe 90%. It's a sprinkling of blacks in here. More mainly they're gay. And there's some women, some straight women. Not a lot of blacks over here. And I, I've met quite a few people. More mainly these are all white. And these white folks come and go, come and go, come and go. Because they're not going to stay in this high rent. They're going to go buy a house before they pay this type of rent. It's ridiculous. Uh, the one bedroom that we live in now rents for about $1,500, $1,600 a month. <laughs> and when I tell you, it is tiny. This is a teeny tiny little apartment. It ain't worth this type of money. I would never. But I didn't do this. Somebody else did. So. No jobs, the cost of living is higher. If you go into certain neighborhoods, you may get killed. You can probably find you a decent one bedroom apartment for approximately $800 to $1,000 in a somewhat decent neighborhood. You gotta be careful at the and go into the grocery store at night. Don't, don't go. It's funny because a friend of mine wanted me to meet him someplace out in South DeKalb County. And it was kind of late at night. And I was like, mm -mm, I'm not going over there. Now, I'm 6'2", damn near 270 pounds. But I'm not stupid enough to go meet somebody in a dangerous neighborhood. Um, it's funny because one of my buddies got robbed a few weeks ago. at, And this is bigger than me. He said he was sitting in his car, texting on his phone. And then somebody put a gun to his head and said, give it up. He had to give the man the phone and his wallet. He wasn't paying attention. The little kid ran off with his shit. 
these kids will rob you. I said, you lucky the man didn't kill you. Shoot you in your damn head over a cell phone in your wallet. He said he had cut a couple hundred dollars in his wallet. Luckily, his driver's license had, was in, in his, he didn't have the guy he was getting his driver's license. But man, it's dangerous. That guy was bigger than me and this little kid robbed this man. This Atlanta is a very... And I had another friend of mine who got into a shootout at a grocery store that he owns here. Um, he was actually on the news a few months ago. Uh, and he got into a shootout. And he, he survived. He didn't shot or nothing like that. But the, the kids came and tried to rob him. and started, They just started shooting at him. They didn't even... So he had to start shooting back. You know, so... Atlanta's is dangerous. Unless you're used to a lot of crime. If you're not, if you're a very green person, if you've not been around a lot of criminals and a lot of crime, you might want to be careful here in Atlanta because you won't know. They even had incidents up here at Lenox Mall. A girl got shot up here at Lenox Mall last week. Some thugs followed them out the mall into their car and shot that girl right up the street from where I live at it on Peachtree Street at Lenox Mall. She ended up over here across the street at Benny Hollis which is about a half a mile from where I live at. And then she was trying to get to the hospital. She almost died. She's still in critical condition. There were some carjackings up at the mall. Atlanta got some crime. So don't be fooled when people think that if you think you're coming to Atlanta, it's going to be some safe place. You have to be very careful. Watch your surroundings here because these young thugs, young teenagers, poverty-stricken neighborhoods come up here and they will rob, shoot, and kill you. Luckily... I've only been robbed one time here in Atlanta, and that was years and years ago outside of Loretta's. I was sitting in a car with a friend of mine, and some guy pulled out a, uh, sh- a shotgun and pointed at us and told us to give up our wallets and shoes. So, um, that was back in, ooh, gosh, in the early 90s. So, I learned from that mistake, because when I go to these clubs, I park, I pay to park close to the club where there are a lot of people at. I don't park on the fringes and walk for blocks trying to save some money. Fuck that shit. I'm going to park as close to the club as I can. I'll pay for parking. If there's a person standing at the parking lot, I'm going to pay that person to park my car because it's more secure and safe. Atlantic is a dangerous city. Can you will get killed in this city? Then they won't for nothing. They don't care. Now, I'm briefly going to this dating scene here in Atlanta for a lot of people. Black, uh, blacks, and I can't discuss white folks. I'm just going to stick to the black folks, gays and straights. I have a ton of straight friends who are single. For some odd reason, blacks have walked away from relationships and marriage. I mean, I have some friends, I have a lot of friends who are married, but they got married years ago. So now you got all these people in their 20s and 30s, and I don't know what's going on. They got children, they, you know, but they ain't, nobody's getting married these days. Nobody's in a relationship. Everybody's just doing, everybody's just screwing all over the damn town. So gay and straight blacks have, don't understand the importance of being in stable loving relationships. I don't know. Maybe they've never seen a relationship. Maybe. So if you're in a relationship, if you're a relationship type person and you're looking, coming here thinking, why am I meeting somebody in Atlanta? Good luck. Because these people, blacks for some odd reason, have walked away from stable relationships. And, you know, everybody's on their independence kick. They want to do it on their own. You know, they want to do their own thing. They want to have sex with whoever they want to have sex with. And, this is a problem that I'm looking at with men, women. I have straight friends of mine who told me that these women here in Atlanta are the biggest whores they've ever met. I've had my straight friends complain about this consistently. They're trying to find a decent woman here in Atlanta. They said they cannot find it. They said these women, their minds, their morals, just everything just gone. So you got to deal with that issue. Now, me personally... If I were an African-American person looking to move to a different city, I would take a look at the crime in Atlanta, the people who live here in the city. What I would, I would try to move someplace where I could have a decent living. Cost of living wasn't so expensive that I was shelling out so much of my money towards rent. I would go someplace where I can keep the cost of living low and I could live someplace safely. And unfortunately, that means that would possibly mean moving to a city that don't have as many black folks. I hate to say this, but I would suggest if I was a black person, and if you have children, you definitely don't want to be around a lot of poor, poverty-stricken black. Go someplace where you can raise your children safely. So for me, Atlanta would be a no. Only thing I would suggest you move to Atlanta if you have no children, 
you have a job and an income and you make a lot of money. If you do have children, you need to make a ton of money so you can live in Morningside, a bucket in a safe, stable neighborhood so you can raise your children without those issues. If you like my videos, please click like, share them with family and friends. I hope I give you some insight into it. In 20, I'm, just, just, I'm already at 20 minutes. But this is just my suggestion about Atlanta. I, it would be a no for me unless you have a hell of a lot of money and a damn good paying job so you can live someplace safe or own a business that makes a lot of money. Anyway, I'm out. Enjoy your day. I'd like to read you all's comments and see what you all think. What do you think, my man? Tell me about it. Tell me what your thoughts are.